So I've recently had some problems with my KVM and I haven't been able to access the local administrator account on the KVM itself. Uh, here's the manufacturer and the model number for you guys to see. Um, so I just recently bought this and I've been having some problems with the uh, with resetting the KVM back to its default settings to its default like password settings. And I haven't been able to, to get into the administrator account. Even if I follow the instructions on Triplight's website and um, follow the instructions exactly how they say it, so uh, they miss one critical step, which will probably confuse a lot of people. And the only reason why I found out the answer to what I was looking for was purely uh, because of an accident. And uh, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically reset the password, the administrator password on uh, this KVM. So uh, let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to take apart the KVM and to do so we're going to be taking just take apart a portion of it. And we're going to take apart this panel right here. This one panel is going to be coming off. And to do so you're going to need to take out 10 screws. There's going to be two screws in each corner of this panel and one on either side. And those are going to be the 10 screws you're going to be taking out. And once you've done so, you're going to take off this panel and you're going to be installing a jumper. Now what the jumper is, it shorts out these two pins right here where it says restore default password. And it doesn't matter what is uh, what shorts out the pins, it just the pins need to be shorted no matter what. And these pins need to be shorted while you're turning on the KVM and that's what resets the default password. Um, this little thing I just made myself, uh, which is some wire with um, some connectors laying around, and I just uh, made this just purely for this video. Uh, it doesn't matter what is uh, shorting out these pins, you could leave a screwdriver shorting out the pins, anything, it doesn't matter, it just needs to short out the pins. Uh, where it says restore default password, it's gonna be these two pins right here. Those two pins, don't short out anything else but those two pins right there. So um, yeah, I'm gonna put this back on here and we're gonna continue on with the tutorial. And make sure that's on there. The pins are shorting out, doesn't matter. So we're gonna take the panel off. Uh, we can actually put this back on here since uh, it's not gonna be stopping it. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna power on the uh, KVM. So for this particular rack, I have to hold down uh, the on button on my UPS and it will turn on the uh, entire rack. And now the KVM is powered up, flip, slide it out, flip it up. And as you can see, it says username and password information has been cleared. Please power off the switch, remove the jumper, close the case, and then restart. So for this, we're going for this now, the password has been completely cleared out. Everything is good. We're good to go. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to the back of this case and you see this little power switch right here? You're gonna flip it off. And this turns off the uh, KVM. Now what we need to do, we need to take off this panel once more and we need to remove the jumper. Pull that off and we can put that down. Now we go ahead and put this panel back on. And uh, we'll keep the uh, power off until we reinstall this panel again. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put all the screws back into this panel and then uh, we're good to go. After that, uh, you guys just follow along. All right, so now that we have all the screws back in inside the panel, the panel is installed back onto the KVM. What we're going to do now is we're gonna power it on. So this switch right here, just the one that we just turned off, we're gonna flip it back up. KVM's gonna power up. And now you're greeted with the enter username and password. Now you're not going to do anything the only thing you are going to press is enter and you're automatically the administrator. Now what you're going to do, you're going to press F4 
and then now it says set username and password and I'm gonna press enter go down to administrator press enter and then you're going to set up the uh, administrator and password and when you're setting up the administrator you're gonna I'm just going to put admin and for the sake of this video I'm just gonna put password and go down to confirm and type in the same password again and press enter and then now that's done you can press escape when it says uh, the setup is okay press escape 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 and then you're going to press F8 to log out and then Y to log back in or to log out to confirm it and then you're going to test your settings now admin and just password for the sake of this video and then press enter and now you're logged in as an administrator and the administrator password is reset so this is the steps that you're gonna, that you're gonna have to take if you ever have to uh, go through this again if you accidentally uh, type in the wrong password twice and you need to reset it just do the same thing again that I just showed you and that'll be that so thank you guys for watching this video it means a lot to me if you enjoyed the video please hit thumbs up and comment down below what you liked if you didn't like the video or if you have any questions please comment down below and I'll I, I respond to all my comments um, other than that I love you guys and uh, I'll see you in the next one